Rocks. Can you believe that you've got snow in Kenya? Um, I sort of feel like I'm dreaming right now. <laughs> Especially as everything's like moving. Um, <laughs> How could yeah. you describe this landscape? Well, especially as I thought I'd be seeing zebras, <laughs> monkeys, uh, maybe a couple of lions. It's a bit of a contrast. <laughs> but, uh, it's blooming like... cold. Yeah. I use the word blooming politely. It's freezing, but it's an amazing experience. And I never, ever thought I'd do anything like this in my whole life. And can you try and explain like how many different wobbles and how quickly they come and go? It's really bizarre. Well... So we woke up this morning to a bit of sleep, mm. but beautiful blue skies, not a cloud in sight, it was warm. So, you know, I had about a couple layers on, yeah. quite comfy, sweating a bit, it was quite nice. And then it started to rain a bit, so I put on my fleece, my jacket, <laughs> but it started to snow. <laughs> so basically we've gone through like four seasons in about three hours. <laughs> and I think that, that's a good way to explain how I feel emotionally as well. Yeah. <laughs> It's so tough. Like last night, I was in my tent, and actually, I said to myself, "Why the hell am I here?" <laughs> I thought, like, "Why have I gone for this? I could be at home now, sit on my couch, have a shower, <laughs> put cocoa butter on my skin." <laughs> but um, this morning, I woke up and I was like, "Okay, I understand now why I'm doing it." But it's it's just so challenging. Honestly, you can't do anything to prepare yourself. You can exercise because, like, as I said to you, I had a personal trainer. Yeah. But it's nothing. Look, we have like we're gonna go to virtually the top of that <laughs> in a couple of days. And this is our friend. He's totally so us out. Introduce this yourself to the world. What's your name, cheap. mate? My name is Kichwa. Kichwa is amazing. Oh, Kichwa. And he's come all the way from Kichwa. Tanzania, yes, especially. I'm from Tanzania for clan with this mountain. <laughs> hey, with my clans, but uh, you Emmy. Oh. Rob, huh? You M? My name? Rocks. This is Rocks. rocks. Oh, okay, rocks. <laughs> we know each other really well. Okay, rocks and... Uh, Gemma. Gemma. Is Gemma? <laughs> He's holding my water bottle for me. There's Thanks. too many names. How many times have you climbed the Kilimanjaro? Oh, I was climbing Mount Kilimanjaro for nine years. Yeah. Yeah, but I have experience for the mountain. Yeah. Wow, and then now he's, he's on Mount Kenya, Kenya. Yeah, now and he's I'm protecting Kenya. us. Let's go, guys. Amazing. Honestly, right, in terms of like the kind of ups and downs you go through, just it's so bizarre. You can, <laughs> one second, just then I was whimpering. I was like, okay, the tears are finally going to come. I haven't cried yet. A couple of, uh, of other people have, have uh, let a few tears release. But um, I was like, <sighs> and I just looked around. I was just like, this is probably the bravest thing I have ever, ever done. And then, and you know, you may be watching this thinking, oh, I could do that in a second. Good for you! <laughs> because it's slippy, there are rocks everywhere. Not just this type of rocks. <laughs> but the weather is so changeable, the mood is so changeable. You're never quite sure how far away you are from getting to camp. And also, it's so overwhelming to just be in this landscape, and kind of. The altitude, that's the obviously, the, uh, what uh, what are we at at the moment? Four thousand one hundred and how much? How 60 many? Sixty or something. How many meters? Basically, too high. <laughs> <laughs> Way too high. We have our heads in the clouds, like literally. We are. It's. It's yeah. It's hard to explain, but. But you know what's funny? When I used to watch those programs, like. Yeah. I'm a celebrity. Or yeah. I just think, why are they crying? <laughs> why are they complaining? They blatantly are pampered and can eat whatever they want. And yeah. Leave. But it's totally not like that. <laughs> it's so. It can be so overwhelming because it's, it's just completely out of our comfort zone, isn't it? Yeah. When we want to wee. Yeah. That's a big thing for me because I'm in <laughs> a nice toilet with nice toilet paper. <laughs> It's proper caveman style. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, over and out, let's sign out for now. Two cave women <laughs> on their journey.